Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday. That means we are playing them Buster Bladers. And uh, we're actually going to do a kind of response video. So as you guys know, I'm a friend uh, and fellow YouTuber Forever Epic. Put up a video, if you don't, if you don't know, link in the description. Uh, talking about um, uh, Twin Twister and, you know, if it's broken or not. You know? So I'm going to go ahead and give my two, my two cents on it, talk about it. And uh, then, I'll, and just to make sure that uh, it goes through and fair and it's unbiased, I'm gonna go ahead and have Forever Epic join me on tomorrow's Daily Duels and the Endo Commentary. You know, even in the darkness of the Endo Commentary, and uh, we're gonna be discussing it there, so you know we can get both sides of it. But uh, he has his video, so I'll link in the description, and then I'll go ahead and give you guys my video. So, how do I feel about Twin Twister? Uh, he says that it's completely broken. He says that. Uh, it's too generic that you can just toss it in any freaking deck and and you know just it's tricking to a twister, right? Uh, personally, I feel like it's a balanced card. I really do. I, I feel like it's the most balanced that you're gonna get for back row destruction. Like you, you can't, you're not gonna pass up the line when it comes to it. Like this is the most balanced that you're gonna get it, and I feel that it's totally fine. Personally, uh, no, no, not you. I'll summon you too. I'll put to summon the one from my hand. Like hold on, hold on. I want to hold on to that. I'll go ahead and summon that Buster Blader, and then go ahead and summon my Insight Magicians. Go ahead and go into my Synchro Monster. Also, someone told me that I'm not doing the Equips properly, that if I would do the Equips on Equips properly, that I'd be doing a better performance with the deck. So it might be, I'll try, I'll try to pay attention to that. Uh, I kind of wish I could search for the, the Dark One, but I couldn't do that. So all these monsters are dragons, their effects are fine, I guess. I really don't have anything to go into my synchro monster. If I was able to summon this, then we'd be able to go to town. But right now, this is the best play I got right now, which isn't terrible. So, I'm going to summon. I can go ahead and search. You can tribute this card to Buster Blader. Buster Blader from my hand or graveyard. That's fine as well. This card is in your graveyard. If I control a Buster Blader, I can discard Destruction Sword Special Summoner. That's also fine. So, not the greatest of opening plays, but still fine, I guess. Yeah. It really depends. It looks like I'm going against Dark Magician, which will definitely be a, a much harder opponent. Like, Dark Magician's so good. That spot popping removal. But, yeah, I, like, if there was, like, Twin Twister and Heavy Storm and Harpy Fed Duster, then hell yeah, you know, something needs to be done. But, I think it's the ba most balanced back row destruction you're going to get, and the ratio between back row and destruction is definitely not there in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, there are so many more traps that are in the game and being played in comparison to the amount of back row destruction. And I guess you could argue, well, we play more back row, but then the same argument, I'm probably never going to be playing as much back row as, I mean, back row hate as you're going to be playing, you know? Like, you can play fucking Bottomless, Solemn Warning, Solemn Strikes, Torrental, Compulse, Mirror Forces, Phoenix Chains, while, what am I supposed to do? Twin Twister, MSTs, Night Beams, like... You, you, decks can play 12 to 20 traps and get away with it just fine. I mean, look at Tellers. We, we can see that. There's no way in fuck I can play freaking 12 to 20 back row hate and play the deck successfully. Like, where, where do we, where do we draw the line? You know, where, where do we say like, all right, well, this is where it's okay. This is where it's not okay. You know, like, look, look at the, look at the ban, just look at the ban list. Look at the ban list. We got Harpy Feather Duster and Heavy Storm Ban. Rightfully so. It's not fair that you set fucking fortified back row and I just blow you away with one card. You know, that that's not fair. That's, that's, that's not fair, correct? But in exchange, look at the back row that's hit. We got one box, one compulse, one turn to tribute, one solemn warning, one ring of destruction. Like you get one of these because they're so powerful that you should only get one of these. Because if you had multiple, then you would just get jumped by back row. <laughs> that's not fair, right? So, Twin Twister, I find it to be a balanced card. It's just an upgrade version of MST. MST, in the past, has been hit down to one, but in the same boat, we've had Heavy Storm and Harvey Feather Buster when MST was at one. So, you know, where, where do we draw the line with back destruction? Those two cards are gone, so MST is at three, and it's been at three since, and no one's complained about MST. No one complains about MST, that's fine. Can I trish this man? I could probably trish this man, actually. And I believe someone suggested I put it in here, and it is in here. I had two Insight Magicians plus him. Like, that that's trish right there. Like, crap. Like, you're about to get fucking your booty smacked. <laughs> like, ha <laughs> ha that's power. Like, that, that is power if I, if I pull this off. So, uh, I could get my Quick Play Spell card, which would be pretty good. I have my Dragon. I have my Buster Blader. They'll be on the field still. And I can go ahead and fuse with that. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab my Quick Play Spell card, despite the trap. 
then I guess I'll go ahead and Pendulum Summon one. Unless he's gonna go ahead and play his turn to shove you. Uh, no? Okay. So... Okay, then they're all like, hey, you can then summon us, but I'm just gonna go ahead and summon you from the extra. This one. Seems like he's waiting for me to do something. No. Then we'll go ahead and trish you. <laughs> trish this man, because I can. Because someone suggested it, and it's like, you know what? I was like, what, with the inside magician, the level one tuner? And they're like, yeah, like, you know what, that works. <laughs> Banish a card and fill one of your set cards. Banish a card in the graveyard, give me that get dark condition. One of the cards in your hand, sure. One of the card in your hand, gone. what I get? It looks like I got navigation. No, dark renewal. Dark renewal some one dark in your dark condition gone. That's not bad. That is not fucking bad. I have no complaints on that. So I could, you know, summon back and then go and turn this into a base, but I think I'm okay right now. Because I kinda wanna fuse this with one of his dragon type monsters. So I guess I'll just attack and then uh destruction sword during his turn. It's not bad. Definitely not bad. Like, damn, got banish your dark magician and freaking fuck you. I thought you were gonna open up a lot better with that, like your dark magic circle and all that. Your dark renewal is kind of cute, I guess. What is dark renewal? When does it go off? I don't even remember when it goes off. I think you like tribute a spellcaster. You're probably going to summon you one monster and one spellcaster type monster, but you can have a spellcaster type monster, so that card was kind of dead at the time, which is fine. But that Trish, that Trish's power right there, especially banishing the dark magician, like that was power. But, uh, yeah, it's just even. It's just upgraded MST. I discard. I I'm using two cards. My discard and my twin twister to pop two of your back row. That's even. That's totally even. Uh, okay, he's got some scoop. All right, we'll go ahead and get another duel. Now let's finish this talk. Be right back. All right, another duel. It's even. Yeah, you know, it's totally even. Two for two. I t I use two cards. You lose two cards. We're even. No one no one went plus. No one went you know uh, up on resources. We're totally even. Ah, talking about you. Here you go, my fucking precious. And I don't know maybe maybe I'm a little bit biased. Because Twin Twister is like my favorite fucking spell card right now because fuck back row. Like that that's literally how I feel. I've always felt that in Yu-Gi-Oh. Fuck back row. So, you know, I've always loved MST. MST it was my number one spell card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! until Twin Twister came out. Where it's like, wait, 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 I get to discard, which of course I love with you, Bell, which is a part of my fault. And I get to uh pop more back row. Like, awesome, awesome, love it. But uh just forever epic, like I don't wanna like beat down on his video. I kinda feel, you know, like I would be mean if I do that. But I kind of feel like in his argument that some of those arguments just didn't make any sense. Like, he was comparing Twin Twister to Lava Chain, which you really can't do. I mean, Lava Chain is a card that's always in your extra deck, you'll always have access to, that's a Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial is already at one, and sending a card from the deck to your graveyard, that's more set up. But the, the, the argument that it gets you set up because you can discard something that you want to get set up, I did not open up well at all. I open up with this, this guy, he's not really doing anything, I really don't have a way to bust out a Buster Blader, my Twin Twister is useless, I'm going against Death Spots who can easily OTK me, like, I just, oh no, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't open up hot at all, like, I opened up straight booty right now, like, wow, maybe if I would open up with the light one, like, I'm, I'm probably gonna die, like, I'm probably gonna die this turn, like, there is absolutely nothing for me to do, but no, no, one, Lava Chain's always in the extra deck, so you're, their access to it always. Two, sending from the deck to a graveyard, that's a no-no. Like, come on. We have Mathematician at one, Foolish at one, like, it's sending from the deck to a graveyard. This has nothing to do with discarding. Like, saying that discarding, and discarding something from your hand and getting set up is broken is saying that, like, you know, Dark World Dealings or freaking hand destruction is broken because you send cards from your hand to the graveyard and get set up. Like, that's your fault. There, it doesn't, Twin Twister doesn't say, discard one card that will get you set up in the graveyard and do your place to pop your back, right? This is discard a card. Now, what you discard, that's up to you. Now, that's your fault. So, how is that broken? You just happen to take advantage- You're taking advantage of Twin Twister. You're taking advantage of the fact that you can discard whatever. That's your fault. That is not Twin Twister's fault. There is no intention. There is no dark intention when it comes to discard. It just wants you to take pay the cost to use the card. It doesn't say, you know, it's not like I get to play Twin Twister, pop two of your back row, and I go plus. Like, and I don't discard. That's what makes it balanced. The discard is what makes it balanced. I'm using two cards for your two cards. That's what makes it balanced. So I just don't understand how he thinks that it's broken. Like, the, the back row ratio is not even the same. Like, Strike, it's just another one of those, it uh, should be uh, placed in another one of the bulbs and trap cards. Like, I, I, you can't sit there and say, yeah, you know what? Well, you know, Strike, Strike should be at three, but, but, ow. I guess they gain pierce damage. Yeah, it gains pierce damage. It's this card. Attack defense with monster and flick pierce damage. Like, ow. Well, I'm, I'm pretty much dead. Or close to it. It's like 35. 
you know, the story. I'm close to it, and I didn't open up well. You know, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Like, you can't, oh, strike. You can't say, you can't in good conscience say that strike should be at three, but cards like Compulse and Bottomless and stuff like that, they're not even nearly as powerful as strike should be at one. Like, it doesn't make any sense. They definitely deserve to be put in the same boat. Judgment isn't fair because it can negate anything for half your life points. Solemn, war uh, solemn warning, pay 2,000 life points, stop the summon, alright, that's fine, that's fine at 1. Solemn strike, same boat, pay 1,500 to stop an inherent special summon and frickin', uh, and frickin', uh, uh, still not the greatest hand. Still not the greatest hand. If I was, if I was able to summon the actual Buster Blader, like, we'd be golden, but I don't. Like, if I had my frickin' companion, like, I just, I, I'm not drawing good, and I'll open up good. Uh, these aren't dragons, nor do I have some way of turning them into dragons, like, just fuck me, I might as well break his pendulum skill, because I can, like, it'd been co cool if they would've gave Buster Blader, like, the fucking Cyber Dragon effect that I could just special summon if I control no monsters, like this guy. This guy, I'm just not the biggest fan of him. I'm really not, like, I'll go ahead and pop your pendulum scales, even out. They're not gonna go off, because there's nothing there, so that's fine, but I still have nothing, like, I guess I'll go ahead and fuse you two, like, I don't even think I could equip to him. Like, I got nothing. I'm also just going to screw it up. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm sitting here playing and talking, but not really playing. Let's go ahead and get another dual pair back. So, yeah. So, Strike should be hit. Strike can get hit on the ones, and, and Twin Twister can still stay at three, and the ratio's not there, because this game, this game is based on luck. You act like I'm freaking playing a... Uh, it feels like an extra deck monster, like a generic rank four extra deck monster. I detach an extreme material to pop two back row. Then, yeah, we can talk. Definitely, we can talk. But... I have to draw it just like you have to draw your back row, except wait, you're running like 12 to 20 back row, I'm only running 3 twin twister. So your chances of getting back row and blowing me out are much are much higher than me just getting twin twister and blowing you out. You know, if, if you're relying on back row to to one up me and you're salty because I, you didn't get to one up me because I had the twin twister, then too fucking bad. That's literally how I feel about it. Too fucking bad. And twin twister is a fucking miracle scent. A fucking miracle scent when when there's fucking, uh, Pendercell. This is a perfect example right here. Just because I got Twin Twister doesn't mean I'm gonna win this shit. He has four fucking back row. I mean, not if it was Heavy Storm, if I just went Heavy Storm and blew away all that shit, then, oh yeah, that's broken. But literally, I'm gonna use two resources to pop two of his back row. And it doesn't mean that, this still doesn't mean I got game. Like, that's the crazy thing. It still doesn't mean I got shit. Right now, I still really don't got anything. Like, this is not the greatest of hands. I don't have any Destruction Swords or anything. Oh, I guess I can discard this, so. Might want to go ahead and do that. I guess I'll go. I guess I can go ahead and discard one of you. No, I'm gonna hold on to this. Hold on to this. Go ahead and summon you. Play you. Pop you. Get you. Pendulum summon you. Twin Twister. I guess. I can always pitch both of you and still get my pendulum scales. Like, all right, we'll go ahead and try this. We'll go ahead and Twin Twister. We'll pitch Dragon Pick because I can always get another Dragon Pick. I guess I should pitch Insight because I can. I can't use really use Insight right now. I'll randomly pop two, so we both win even. I use two for your two, so. Uh, I'm hoping that you won't be able to just blow me out with back row, but hey, I mean, that's just the risk of reward. Look, back row. Fucking your Shirinui style, your fucking Darude Sandstorm. Like, like I said, the ratio of back row in here, like I'm assuming there's Storm Strikes, Storm Warnings, Bottomless, Darude Sandstorm, uh, uh, your Swallows Nets. Like, there's a lot of trap cards that you're playing right now, but I should just get blown the fuck away because of Twin... So I should... My, I, my Twin Twister should get hit, but you should be able to blow me the fuck away with all your back row. Like, is that really how, how it is? <laughs> I don't know, I just, that doesn't seem fair to me. <laughs> it really doesn't. I didn't open up well at all. Like, where are my level 1 tuners? Like, no level 1 tuners at all. I won, like, what, 12 of them? 12 of them? 12 level 1 tuners? Not a single one. Not even my Buster Bladers either. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hold on to my play, so I'll go ahead and get you, and then I'll get Insight. I'm not gonna set up my Pendulum Skills, and, and just, of course, I can't destroy, and then I'll just do that play later. So I can go ahead and activate this, discard this, and get a bus later. That's great. <laughs> That's all cool and all, but I just don't have a level one tuner, so or a dragon to fuse with right now. So it's not the greatest of plays. Like damn, <laughs> the engine scales are there, but the monsters aren't. No bus to blade, no nothing. <sighs> but no, no, it's a, it's a fine card. It's a fine card. It's, I don't know. It's just in my opinion, Forever Epic just came across as you know them salty people. You know, that indefinitely would argue that, uh, that, uh, 
that uh, Hubbard Fed Duster and such, and that should never come back because they feel salty that they got blown out by, you know, by them cards, by Twin Twister and Hubbard Fed. I feel like, sorry, <laughs> you know. And like I said, I, I understand the point of view. When when Heavy Storm got hit, I was like, fuck, you know, I need that backward destruction. But Twin Twister, oh, that's, that's a great replacement. This is great as I'm gonna ask for, right? So. He's not getting any monsters, but he has a butt ton of back row, so can he still blow me out despite that? Yeah. He definitely can. I mean, he's got back row. I used my one Twin Twister, that's all I got. Like I said, the back row to drawing to the to Twin Twister ratio is still not there, but it's the closest that we're going to get to being fair, right? Oh, yep, there's the bottomless. There's the bottomless, so that's fair. So I get blown out the fucking water by Twin Twister. I mean, I get blown out, I, I Twin Twister him, but he could just blow me out the fucking water with back row, right? It's fair? Fair? <laughs> not it's really not so no don't hit my twin twister i swear to god if they hit twin twister oh then he's gonna play his twin twister see and it, it's like I said, it's not like it's either or either you can still play your twin twister like this man is literally one-upping me and blowing me out the water all i got left is effect veiler i mean it doesn't help that he not only does he have the twin twister but also he has the back too like that doesn't help but what you're gonna do right and now i'm completely out of resources so i guess i'm gonna get fucked up but hey hey Yu-Gi-Oh! is not about a game of whether who has the back row, who doesn't have the back row, who has the monster, who doesn't have the monster. What's Yu-Gi-Oh! about? It's a game about resources. And what am I right now? A guy without resources. So, fuck me. <laughs> I got one up by his back row. I twin twisted some back row, but I still got one up by the other back row. Twin twister cracked my scales, which is great, you know? It's literally a, you know, a card that can break scales in this pendulum mechanic ruling game. So, if you hit twin twister, then just, hey, fuck it, more, back, more fucking pendulum scales going off. And just fuck everybody, huh? <laughs> I drew something. Not the greatest of cards, but I drew something. I don't know who's to say that he won't have more back row to one-up me. Like, this this duel right now, right here, right now, is a perfect example of how it's not fair in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> that he could just sit here and one-up the living shit out, shit out of me, and I can't do shit. Like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. So, so Twin Twister should be hit, and we shouldn't have Twin Twister, because I can pop your back row, but it's totally fine if I just sit here and watch this guy just one-up the shit out of me, right? Fair? Fair? I've literally not even been able to do shit. I've been literally just getting poked to death. It's like fucking Thunder King Ryle set four on this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, if I fact value this, can he still tribute? I don't think he can. Like, it doesn't really matter, I got fucking nothing. I got fucking nothing. That's fair, right? It's fair that he set four. I had no monsters in the beginning of this duel, just set four. And then turn the duel completely around. I think it's fair. I think it's fair. But I got Broken Ass Pendulum Call, which is also a card that should be hit. You know? Like I said, I'm not being biased with that. Like, Pendulum Call is fucking ridiculous. Like, oh yeah, one card get both my Pendulum Scales? Like, that's fair. That's fucking fair. I still don't got much. Like, that's a sad thing. I still don't have anything. At least I could set up my Pendulum Scales and then hopefully defend myself. Like, that's literally all I got. <laughs> And then, who's to say that you don't got another strike or it's, uh, or Shira Nui Swallow Destruction? Yep, Shira Nui Sword Swallow. See? See? I only got one Twin Twister while he's hitting me with, what, four pieces, three pieces of back row? Three pieces of back row in this duel. Three pieces of back row, but I've only gotten one Twin Twister. Like I said, it's a game of luck, too. Okay, well, that's not gonna do anything. Because my shit can't be destroyed this turn, so... So, literally, I'm gonna have 300 life points left, and let's see if he just top decks until- Oh, literally, all he has to do is just draw a monster and summon attack, attack, game. That's all he needs. Okay, he didn't draw it. Or, he drew into another set card, which could probably fuck me up, like, three of these- Oh, never mind, he can banish the game to attack, and then this game. Ah! 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 So, so, did I lose because of his monsters? Did he bust out some broken-ass sure Nui Synchro plays? No, he didn't. He just beat me down with monsters, backed up by back row. Where I couldn't do anything with my monsters, he back rows the shit out of my monsters and pokes me to death, like Thunder King Ryle style. So that's fair. It's fair, right? Perfect example right there. Let's get another duel and be right back. Perfect example right there. He didn't synchro summon not once. All he did was just poke the shit out of me with monsters and one up me with back row. Perfect example right fucking there. Like, oh my god. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Go ahead and summon you. So, I can tribute you, get a buster player, then you can target one buster monster, equip it to your side, but while it's equipped, you special on this monster, the monster from your extra deck, 
Like, I think I want to get my Quick Play spell, Tribute, Summon the Buster Blader from my hand, then Equip, Unequip, Synchro, and then Summon back Buster Blader. I believe that's the correct play. And then have this ready. Like, I can do that, right? Please don't tell me I'm gonna fuck this up, because if I fuck this up, it's gonna be really bad. Because someone was saying I wasn't using my equips correctly. So I'm gonna equip. Then I can unequip. Synchro summon. And then I can go ahead and equip the extra deck one. The him, right back from the grave with him. So that's pretty good. I don't control Buster Blader, so summon back Buster Blader. Like this this is definitely the play I was missing. Then back Buster Blader, I have them, I have him, and uh set this and then I can just go ahead and equip so you can't summon from the extra deck next turn. I mean who's to say I won't get, you know, blown out by Regeki, but you know. I, I mean the plays are still there at least. So go ahead and equip you. And then next turn, if I still survive, I could, if I don't do this play, I can just go ahead and unequip this, summon this as a monster, and then go into this into like Abyss or something. So. <sighs> okay. That's it, I don't know. I think Twin Trister's balanced. I would be so upset if Twin Trister gets hit. I'd, I'd actually be sad if Twin Trister gets hit. Oh wait, are you gonna come to him summon three? Oh no, broken ass wavering eyes. The card, another card that should be hit down to one. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Crack your scales to get any pendulum based monster. Like that's fair. Rota, I get, I get uh, any warrior. I get a warrior, level four warrior. That's at one. But wavering eyes, I can crack my scales to get any pendulum based card. Any pendulum? Like that's not tutoring a fucking type. That's tutoring an entire archetype. You know? that's, I mean, the archetype. That's an entire game mechanic. Yeah. You know? Like, this should probably be hit. Like, actually, it is hit. Like, this should be hit. I'm not sure- I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this card being banned, really. Oh, well, he's already gonna activate his effect, so there's really no point in fusing. Now. Because even if I fuse, he's still gonna get his effect, so I guess that really doesn't matter. I guess I should wait for, like, a threat or something. Like, yep. Look at this shit. This should be hit. This still is powerful along with this. Like, <laughs> like this still is so much power in Yu-Gi-Oh, but, Yu -Oh, but we're going after fucking Tone Twister just because I guess it's generic. Yep. And that one card pendulum scale pendulum call. There it is. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that's power too. <laughs> at least he can't really do anything to get over my shit because he can't pen- I mean, because he can't, uh, uh, exceed. And it's like, you can't special summon much in the extra deck, right? So he can't even summon back his odd eyes. That's pretty good. I just don't see any threat right now. There's really no threat. <laughs> so it's like, once we turn, if you do not control a Buster Blader, I can go ahead and target a Buster Blader. I can go ahead and just summon this off, go into like another Sync 8, like a Stardust or something like that, and then summon my Buster Blader back back. And then of course it's gonna quit, because you can't summon from the X-Deck. Like, I locked you down in Monarch style. Like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't punch him so fast, there's nothing I can do to get over these beaters. And I have the freaking sword to fusion and fucking like skill drain all your dragon type monsters, which will all be dragons because of this. That's pretty good. Alright, let me go get another duel. Bear back. Alright. This will probably be the last duel. So, like I said, in the comment section below, go ahead and tell me what you think. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have Forever Epic uh, tomorrow's daily duels, and we're gonna go ahead and discuss because I kind of want to get his two, his opinion, my opinion bounced around because I, I like I said, I don't think that. Uh, Twin Twister is bad. I think it's fun. I think it's the most balanced you're gonna get. Like, I, I, I can definitely see your point of view if Heavy Storm and Harvey Duster were there, and, and Twin Twister was like, oh my god, we gotta do something, then, but yeah, then it would be those two. Those are the unbalanced ones. Those are the ones that blow you out the fucking water. Twin Twister, I use two for- I use two cards, you lose two cards. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> Alright, this isn't the best of hands, but I guess it's not the worst of hands either. I probably don't want to sink or something to my- this- I mean- that, but I didn't get my dark one. I could go into Ignister, but there's really nothing to do with Ignister. <laughs> there really isn't. I get normal summon you, get a search, set up you guys, pendulum summon you, like, I didn't open up fantastically at all. Actually, you know what? I actually opened up really well. I actually opened up well. I did. I, I had to scratch that because I can search for him and then pendulum summon him and then he can summon back the busted blade back and shit like that. So, we're okay. We're okay. Actually, you know what? I might want to go ahead and touch this. Yeah. No, because I was equipped to a Buster Blader. I was thinking about maybe doing something different. Maybe a trying to bust out a bit, but I don't think I can do that. 
because I can't summon two tuners right now. I can get this, but I don't have any destruction sword card to pitch, so that's not the greatest. This is fine. Yeah, I think I'll get this and just have beaters. <laughs> so, I guess I'll go ahead and definitely play you. Definitely play you. Pop you. Put you. Then Pendulum Summon. All of these monsters, like all of you. And just get all that damage in because my opponent decided not to summon anything. Like that's the, like look at this Pendulum Summon mechanic, like I'm just gonna jump this shit out of you. <laughs> like I can't even say it's fair. I got my Sack Veilers to negate any monster effects that you do, and it's a level 1 tuner. That's one of the reasons why. It's a level 1 tuner and it's searchable through that Blue Eyes Maiden. So, definitely a Sack Veiler. And it's like one of my defensive things. Like, there's no shops in here. The only shop card I have in here is my, uh, uh, one card. I guess I could please these two, or Synchro Summon. Thousand life points left. Is there anything else I can do? I can go into Easter! I can go into Hot Red, I can go into you, or Mady's Big Eye. The absolute wouldn't be terrible, because if you sent from the field to the graveyard, I can go ahead and summon you back. It's just I wouldn't, I would lose these guys as, as XC materials, you know? Can't go into Beals. There's no point in going to Ignis, there's nothing to spin back. I should have put like, I need to put like Stardust in here. I need to put like a generic Synchro that I don't mind losing. So going to you, and then you can go ahead and summon me my Buster Blader back from the graveyard because I don't have a Buster Blader, right? You know, because you can't Buster Blader in the graveyard. Oh, let's say like, what are you doing? Like, I can, I can, I can fuck up a light monster. Like, uh, what do you want? You want to fuck up Inside Magician? Like, nah, we're good. Ah. <sighs> If this, this stays on the field, I think I want to go into Absolute with these two because this can always summon that back, so I think I'll be okay. And then if this dies, I can go ahead. I don't think I have any extra monsters though. No, I don't, so the best you would do is just bounce something. But you really wouldn't uh, get them again unless this is back in the extra deck. Okay, he's just going to scoop. Awesome. So, yay, punch the mechanic. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, in the comments section below, tell me what you guys think about Twin Twister. Video response. Uh, link in the description to Forever Africa's video. You can hear his point, his side of the uh, argument. And then tomorrow we'll go ahead and uh, um, probably DM Do Commentary. Not Daily Duels, because we'll be focused on tagging with each other. So, uh, but probably DM Do Commentary. If we're not too focused on DM and the dark cards and all of that, we'll probably be discussing and bouncing around our points of views. Like a debate. A debate. So, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for support, see you guys tomorrow with them dark magicians, uh, so it wasn't a bad video, it really wasn't, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.